are you? Welcome back to a new video of this series that I talk about the life of a student in Germany. If this is the first time that you watch one of these videos, let me introduce myself. I'm Mariana, I'm from Brazil and I'm a full-time MBA student here at HHL in Leipzig, Germany. So this video today is very special because it's the last video of the series. Uh, I am going to start a new internship in April and if you have watched all the videos I have said this sentence a few times the internship of my dreams I have this internship that I really want in the company that I really want so yeah the good news that I have is that I got it I got the internship I'm gonna be an international marketing uh, department in a manufacturing company with consumer goods so it's exactly what I wanted uh, this whole time, even before deciding on uh, the, the MBA. I already knew that I wanted to do this. I wanted this shift in my career coming from uh, technology and B, very B2B focus environments to this more B2C consumer goods. So yeah, I'm pretty happy and I wanted to share with you. So for this last video, we are doing a series of highlights, learnings that I got as a student um, here in Germany, being an international student. So I just wanted to share with you and give you my two cents, a few tips as well for your experience to be amazing. And of course, since this is my personal experience, I'm gonna tell you very specific things to me and I hope you like it and let's start. First thing I would say starting it would be to focus on your goal. So this is, I'm going to start with a tip. Focus on the goal that brought you here. If you are studying abroad, let's say you are here as me, you are at HHL, you are in Germany, that was exactly what you wanted to do, but you have a, a, a reason behind. So your reason, my reason behind was I wanted a shift in career, as I said, and I wanted to change sectors. So when the situation comes that you have to make a decision, and in my situation that happened, that you have two opportunities at hand. One maybe might be giving you a better um, financial solution for now, but it's taking you to exactly what you were doing before. And then you have on the other hand, a situation that will leave you still in this student level, financially speaking, because you're going for an internship. Um, but it is with the difference, with this change, with this shift that you want to do in your career. It's a very tough decision and I was faced with, the, with this decision and I just needed to decide what was more important for me right now. So I decided to go with the internship that I wanted to do because I believe that when you continue on the same path, um, afterwards, after you finish, after you graduated, it's going to be even harder for you to make this shift because the MBA, this internship that you can do, helps you exactly with that, opening doors to changing your career in the ways that you want. So just don't forget your why's, your reason why you are doing this and just focus. Focus on your goal even though it might take you a little longer. It might give you a, a bit more struggle in a few months but afterwards you're gonna get the prize so all the doors can open for you and you're not gonna regret of going in exactly the way that you wanted it from the beginning since i talked about internship i'm also going to talk about this as a highlight because you as a student in germany you have the same rights being an international student you have the same right as german students to work a certain amount of time throughout the year either part-time or full-time it differs a little bit because you have an amount of hours tops that you can work every year but having the chance to work as a working student or doing an internship either mandatory or voluntary internships increases so much the chances that you have of having a more financially stable life throughout your studies not only relying on your blocked account that you need to come to germany but also uh, help you connect and network with other people, opening doors, you um, as a working student or as an intern, you can get your first working experience in Germany and that will definitely open doors afterwards to get the full-time position that you want. So this is definitely a huge highlight that you have studying in Germany. Another highlight that I bring is connected to my personal development. 
You can imagine, if you're working, uh, you're studying in a class of around 60 people from 17 different nationalities, different ages, different experiences, different backgrounds, personal and professional. Imagine how much that you have to work on yourself to be able to work with so many different people. And I have talked about this when I talked about the program uh, format, that we have different assignments happen at the same time, and we don't choose the groups that we work with. Otherwise, you end up in this comfort zone, always working with your friends, all with people that you know you're gonna work well with. And how it actually is, is that professors or this inter, um, internal system that we have chooses randomly, so you always work with different people. So imagine that also we have these electives. So I might have been taking some classes that my friends, my colleagues from a certain group don't have. So we also need to manage our calendars. So learning how to be flexible and also communicating really well so you don't get lost in translation and you don't have any problems uh, when delivering assignments and, and group projects and presentations you really need to develop yourself. So that I would say is also a huge thing that will come for sure help me in this new phase of my career working in a different country, especially for me that will work in international marketing. My team is gonna be very um, diverse. So I feel much more well equipped to face the situation. The next point is essential for you when you get to a new country, when you get to a new place, that would be your connections, so networking. At HHL, you're not only, of course, gonna network with your colleagues, with your peers in your class, but also you have professors that come from very distinct sectors. They work at boards from different companies, sometimes really big companies in Germany and also international companies. So you have the chance to be face-to-face -face in a first-name basis with these professors. And not only that, you have, I already talked about this in a different video, you have the career nights, uh, you also have the student initiatives they organize, they're gonna have sponsors, so you have people from companies coming for your event, looking for talent, so also a great way to network. And I'll also add to that, here specifically at HHL, the HHL digital space and the spin lab. Those are the centers, let's say developing centers for startups because yeah, HHL is known as the entrepreneurial uh, university. And these two, one more focus on um, initiating your business idea and the other one focus on getting investment and really developing a go-to-market strategy. Those two as well, because they're always here and they always have events. If you have this entrepreneurial mind, if you want to put um, idea out there, you, you also have this great additional networking that is on campus um, and increases your chances of getting to know the right people. Another very big highlight for me that was a pleasant surprise was the city, was Leipzig. Before coming here, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I live in the West before now coming to East. You hear a few things that is very different. Uh, the vibe of the city is completely different. And I was scared that I wasn't going to fit in, that I wouldn't enjoy this experience. But especially, being completely honest, especially after March, April last year, when the sun came out and the, the temperature was really nice, I got a bike and I started exploring the city for real, even like alone, just going around, uh, I fell in love with it. And I start, I, before I would always say, no, I'm just going there to study. And as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna finish and I'm gonna go away to work and I don't wanna stay there. But afterwards, when I was here, I was really in the end of my course last year after classes. I was always, always thinking, I wish I would get a work opportunity here in Leipzig or in the region so I could stay because the size of the city for me is perfect. It's around 400, 500,000 people. And the weather, in my experience, was better than the other region that I lived. Much, much more sun throughout spring and, and summer. And uh, the city is very walkable, very bikeable, a lot of nature in the middle of the city. I already said that it would take me 20 minutes from home to campus on my bike. 
coming in the middle of the, the park. Yeah, I slowly fell in love with the city and I think it's the perfect um, size, perfect style for a very amazing student experience as I had. <laughs> the next point I think is very important to talk about is a tip that I bring and I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna give one example from me and one example from a friend, is to take care of your mental health. Find something that you love doing or learn something new. For example, in Germany, you can find, um, it's called Verein. It's like a club. You can get a, a sports club or a gardening club or anything. You can, you can look for a book club. They are very um, popular here. Um, and you can find something you love or even doing something alone, doing sports, something uh, that you, you can get to know people. And I'm gonna talk about what I did. As I already said in the last point, last year I got a bike and was, I don't know, six years since I rode the bike last time and I just felt in, completely in love with it again and just going around, sitting in a park, uh, getting a little bit of sun, reading a lot of books and that for me really helped throughout the year when I was very, very stressed, that helped me a lot. But one of my friends, he went a step further. He's from Costa Rica and he came here already thinking that he wanted to continue playing Frisbee. He is part of the, the Frisbee community and he's a pro, I would say he's a pro player. He uh, plays at the UFC, is the, is the federation for Frisbee. And they have championships around Europe and he got here, he got into a club and association um, and they formed a team and he was traveling around throughout the year, all this time that he's here, he's always having connection with Germans as well, what is really good to improve his German, he always had the chance to practice it. And of course, you leave a little bit of the bubble just from your friends from school and you have this experience of going outside of it. And of course, having fun and staying healthy, that also helps with your mental health, especially with stress management. Something that is very dear to my heart and that I could not leave outside of this list of highlights is these videos, this series of videos. This Although it is, of course, I'm a working student for HHL right now for the last few months and I'm doing this as part of my job, everyone here knows that this for me is a very personal project as well. Since I came here, even before coming here, I was always asking questions about HHL, how we should dress because I, I, I feel, felt that I didn't have this, um, this uh, information from just looking at the website or looking at social media, so I always felt that I needed a little more. And when throughout the, the time that I was preparing to come here, I'm very anxious, I can be very, very anxious. And knowing more about my goal, how it is when I get there, helps me calm down a little bit. So all these videos that I'm doing right now, I wish I had them when I was preparing for like two years to come here. So I would feel much more equipped, much more prepared, already knowing what to expect in terms of classes, in terms of extra activities, and also how people are and opinions about the city, about the campus. So I'm very proud of these videos and I really hope they help other people as well, as much as they would have helped me two, three years ago. Now, as the last topic, I could not leave this out. And this, uh, I would say, is the last one, but is the most important for me. That is all the friends that I made. I, of course, I'm very sociable. I always was. And um, I knew I was going to make friends here, but I'm so happy and so surprised with the quality of the friends that I made. We are a very international group and my group of friends, the closer one, we are also very international. We only have uh, two people that are from the same country. We are around seven, eight people and we are all very, very different in personalities, in experience, uh, job and life experiences. And we just found each other. And this, I always said that for me since the beginning, this was the most important things, the exchanges that I would have with my peers. And I was not expecting to make this good of friends throughout the program, friends that I truly can count on every time, any time of day or night, weekend, doesn't matter. They're always there for me. I'm always there for, for them. And also friends that I'm gonna take for life. That it is what definitely makes me 
the happiest about this. Everything that I learned by all the people that I'm taking with me as well. So here we are in the end of this video, in the end of the series. And as usual, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you know anyone that is going through the same things, trying to choose the country, the school, the city, anything to do their studies, just recommend this uh, series of videos to them. And uh, I hope you enjoyed following me until here. As I said, this is a very dear project to my heart and I'm really, really happy with the results in the end. And if they help one person, my job is done and my goal is achieved. I'm super happy with it. So if you ever have any questions, any doubts about anything regarding HHL and the studies here in Leipzig and in Germany, just leave a comment, talk to us. We are very open to help you out and I hope to see you around. Bye bye.